Our scripture reading today is taken from Genesis chapter 3 verse 6. And when the woman saw that the tree was good for food and was pleasant to the eyes and a tree to be desired to make one wise, she took of the fruit thereof and did eat and gave unto her husband with her and he did eat. Today we are at Cave Hill in Belfast and it's wonderful to have eyes to see and look around us. We can see Carrick Fergus in the distance, Belfast Lock below where ships come in and go out of Belfast Harbour. We're so blessed to have eyes to see colours, read, behold the beauty of God's creation. Adam and Eve were placed in the Garden of Eden and they could eat of all the trees apart from the tree of the knowledge of good and evil. Yet we read that Eve looked at the fruit and ate and gave unto her husband. As a result of Adam's disobedience, sin came into this world and hence that sin has passed on us all. Yet God has provided a remedy for that disobedience by Adam and that is the Lord Jesus and by his obedience on death on the cross he made it possible for us to be forgiven and restored. When we look around us in the world today, there's so much that our eyes could behold and bring us into bondage and sin. The lust of the eyes, whether it's sex, pornography, gambling, money, drink, all the pleasures of this world, we look, we want, we desire. Our eyes affect our heart and our thinking. We The only way back and to break free from these sinful lusts is to look to the Saviour, the Lord Jesus, and cry out to him for help and deliverance. For the unsaved, look to the cross and be saved, and be changed by the Spirit of God. For the Christians, keep in the word of God, pray, resist the devil, and he will flee from you. In Psalm 51, we read about King David, who looked at a woman bathing herself and lusted in his heart and sinned. Yet he cried out to the Lord for forgiveness and he was and he was cleansed. There were consequences for David's actions for the world to accuse him, yet God forgave him of his sin. There was a young man in England went into a Methodist church one snowy night to find shelter. The preacher spoke on Isaiah 45 verse 22 Look unto me, and be ye saved, all the ends of the earth, for I am God, and there is none else. And he pointed down to this young man in the congregation, and said, Young man, look to Christ. And he did, and he was gloriously saved. That young man was called Charles Haddon Spurgeon, and he became a great soul winner. There is a church in London today called the Spurgeon's Tabernacle. When Peter got out of the boat to walk on the water, to go to the Lord Jesus. He took his eyes off the Lord and onto the stormy water around him and he began to sink and he looked again to the Lord and cried out, Lord, save me. And the Lord took him by the hand. Just three words, Lord, save me. You can do the same just where you are right now. Ask the Lord to save you, to change you, to cleanse you in his precious blood for his name's sake. Fanny Crosby was blind as a young girl, and yet she penned some lovely words. Pass me not, O gentle Saviour, hear my humble cry. While on others thou art calling, do not pass me by. Fanny died, and the first one she saw was the Saviour that she, she knew and loved 